YouTube, it's Brian Phillips here. I'm finally so pleased to bring you an update. We had some minor delays. Thank goodness for the county's oversight of our project. We have a driveway, I mean a runway. It's huge, it's huge. And I just wanted to show you guys the runway. This is the beginning of the runway. And it goes up there and then makes a turn. Most runways don't turn, but mine <laughs> does. And I want to show you my wonderful feature here. This was supposed to come out and uh, radius out um, a few more feet, but the county saw us doing it and they said, you can't do that. And I said, why? There's going to be a hole there. But they had some plans, I guess. And we'll show you over here, it's even dumber. <laughs> So basically, we had to cut the brand new road to make a, a perfect seam here, which is normal for any of you guys that do construction out there. There's a roll on asphalt, and then concrete is flat because you have to do a form up against it. You don't put concrete up against a roll, it'll destroy itself. So this is this is what happens when the county gets involved. <laughs> they, uh, they, they won't let you do the right thing because they have it under control. So thanks a lot, county for this beautiful hole. But the good news is, the good news is, and this is really good news, my runway is up there. So, come along for the ride, guys. Are we just gonna walk up? Yeah, let's okay. walk. My camera crew has to step over this precarious, dangerous I hole. I know. I hope glad. she doesn't uh, sprain her ankle, because <laughs> God forbid we would have to maybe take the, the call, county to Call the, the county, yeah. So, basically what we've got here is this wide mouth for uh, getting trailers in and this is the thicker concrete it's six inch fiber reinforced with rebar i think we did like 18 inch um 18 inch squares and then we rewrapped the edges and we did have some uh kind of weighty weighty <laughs> things here i wasn't real crazy about and this whole mess is i'm not sure how i feel about it yet but this is to help with the erosion and uh it was a it was a free gift from our concrete guy <laughs> because he was eight scoops short of his uh he had a one yard minimum so he said he was going to do a favor for me to stop the erosion but we'll see how it turns out i think we're probably going to backfill over it anyway so that'll just stop everything from washing out come on up guys as you can see this road is uh our driveway is very wide and uh we come up here and we eventually narrow to sorry we had a uh rocket ship that went by <laughs> so this is the runway come to the corner camera crew this is the runway okay so this there is a slight elevation shift here we gain I would say about three feet from this point all the way over there and we have about 170 feet of straight flat runway and the narrowest point is I'll show you the narrowest point it's right here. Right here. This is like about 10 feet right here. Everything else is wider. <laughs> to one degree or another, with the widest point being up up by the, uh, the three-car garage. So we really are super excited to show you. And by the way, the wind is coming exactly down the runway today. I wish I had a plane with me because I would be flying it for yours truly and obviously all you at home uh, the main wind usually comes down the road but then we get crosswinds here and then of course when it's calm um, but at our property we've had wind from every direction just like all of you do but the prevailing wind I think is going to come down the main road so we'll have a bit of a crosswind on an average day and it should come from that direction here so we'll go ahead and walk you up and then show you inside there's some things that happened inside too this week this was the third pour, and then the approach was the fourth pour, right? One, two, three. No, it was five total, wasn't it? I yeah, I think it might have been five now. pours. But as you can see, guys, we're, we're widening up as we go. Um, so our straight line is actually over here. This is where our yep, straight line is, is on our straight. runway. So show them the straight line both ways quick while we're walking by. All the straight. way down. So we have, a, we have a, a really good chance at getting airplanes in the air. And the thing that I like the most about it is we're on our own property. 
we don't have to worry about, you know, like a soccer game, an impromptu basketball meet, <laughs> uh, whatever ridiculous things that have gotten in our way in the past. The only thing we have to worry about is Mother Nature, the FAA, the federal government in general, <laughs> other idiots. Yeah, just those things. We'll be inside next. In my haste, I forgot to show you guys. I think we might have given you a midweek update. We're going to show you two things before we go in. This is the um, expansion. We needed an extra four feet of runway on this <laughs> runway. So, um, and then you'll notice that we did radius turns on all these, and that's and that's part of our part of our master plan for taxiways and also for looks too. <laughs> but this is uh, this is our smallest landing strip, takeoff strip here, for extreme crosswind issues, and it drops way off. So we've got almost like an aircraft carrier takeoff zone there. <laughs> <laughs> and then this here, we'll show you. They redid the steps. So this is uh, we we got to figure out how we're gonna do our lines and our lighting system because there will be lights someday. You just watch for that one. Uh, the the steps got redone. Now we have watershed on all of them. And then the S stands for stone. stone. So obviously we have Which stone here. here. It's not installed. It's not installed, but it will be installed. So we'll see you next on the inside. Okay, so if we had smell vision right now, you'd be <laughs> like, it smells like a carpet store, which is really exciting for us. Obviously carpet is a big deal. It's one of the last steps in a build, at least on the inside of a house in most cases. So as you can see, we have our carpet. It's amazing. It's like the best carpet you've ever seen. And I can't wait to do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bare feet on the carpet. So it looks good. It's not anything too particularly fancy. No. We didn't do anything special on the carpet, but it is carpet and it is down and that's pretty cool. Obviously, it's really nice to have this stuff done. Looks like these things still have some schmutz on them. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really exciting to have this down. And then we'll show you the stairway because of course the stairway has carpeting oh. too. Yep. So, wonderful. It's so exciting. It feels so homey and it's a slightly less echoey. It is. Have you noticed? It is a little bit, yep. The kids this, will be happy to have used carpet. This like the most echoey place in the entire universe right yes. here. You couldn't do anything without an echo and it's a million times better. Um, and it looks like they did get this done too, hon. So they had to do some modifications to this spot and uh, it looks like they got that done. There was nosing on each step and then they had to modify. They had two boards here. They split it because they put an extension ladder in here. The drywallers did. Actually, the framers did, and they went bang and put a hole in this. And I said, you, you got to fix it. Well, what I meant by fix it was replace it with one piece, and they meant two. So, <laughs> all right, come on up. We'll show you the bedrooms, and then that should be it for today. Yep. So this is our midweek fiasco, because I'll be honest with you. We really wanted to get you this video on Saturday, but basically we had problems with the county two times. They called within minutes of a pour twice this last week. And I don't know what they expect people to do, but in my best estimation, when you want to stop work, you can either stop it or you can get in touch with people before, like one minute before they drop concrete on the ground. So we had to make some decisions like right now and everybody was calling and it was a frantic mess and I hate it when that happens. We are planners, as you may have noticed, so it just drives us crazy when we have to deal with those things. So if you're building a house, just plan on it happening once or twice during the build. Hopefully you won't have to deal with anything that actually stops your work. But um, we did have to, we were this close to having a problem and we narrowly averted crisis on it. So we were really fortunate. And then we had some weather that kicked in. So we lost about four days. But we have carpet in. The carpet guys, believe it or not, had to carry the carpet from the street by hand in the rain. So we'll show you the bedrooms next. Okay, so similar to the other room, we just did the same carpet in all the rooms. And the carpet guys uh, wrapped around our closets, which is really nice. They basically just cut a seam and put it around. 
So it turned out nice. The colors are, are neutral. It's not really a big thing. Um, as you can see, there's some damage on the trim. That's very typical uh, for when carpet's getting laid. Looks like we had just a, actually it looks like that trim might have got not nailed all the way. So these are the types of things that are sort of expected when you're doing your carpet. We'll just give you a quick look at the three rooms that were impacted because there's only three bedrooms that got carpet. And then in here in the girls' uh, closet, we had this built in. And believe it or not, they cut out these strange shapes. I mean, it's, I don't know how they measure it, but they, cut, they cut those things and then they drop them in. So they have tack strip around every edge. I felt kind of bad for them on that because that was a lot of work. But it looks like they did a decent job on that, which is pretty cool. And then the master, we'll give you a shot of that. So the master bedroom, uh, carpet's in, which is pretty cool because this is as finished as this room has ever been. The echo chamber is way better. Yeah, I'm a super lot. happy about that because it's always been equity. And then in the master bathroom, nothing's really changed in here. They came in and replaced our screws, which sounds ridiculous, but it took a two-man crew to do it. And then the master closet, got a nice clean floor. And it looks like we, we had good success in here. The only thing we have yet to figure out at this moment in time is when we pull down our attic access, we have to figure out a way to have the ladder land and not damage or disturb the carpet. Um, so that'll be something we'll come up with. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. Come back for more.